That was something new inside. Very surprised by that. My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, as you can see in front of me, we've got another Keen hiking boot review. These are what I use for work boots for the landscape business. And I believe this is our third review on these boots. And uh, this is the Targi 3. And uh, we'll just keep doing these reviews uh, as long as they're working out for me. These have been good, good boots, and we'll kind of go into more in depth. And uh, yeah, let's just shoot into the video. Okay, so here we've got another edition of our Keen. This is their Targi 3 Mid Waterproof Hiking Boots. And I love using these for the landscape business. They're a great lightweight work boot that's waterproof that just uh, holds up to the task. So I think these are like my, my fifth and sixth pair or, or sixth and seventh, eighth, and I, I don't know. I have done gotten through at least a half a dozen of these things. So here we've got my painter's edition. We are working on the ultimate thrifty garage project, uh, Homer model. So uh, these have been very useful now that they're getting a little bit expired and old. And here we've got another close to expiring pair of boots. And uh, there's something new inside of these ones. Uh, these are the exact same model as these, and uh, but there's something new inside. So let's uh, open this up and take a look and see. I, uh, I actually buy these in pairs. Um, so I buy two pairs at the same time. So I'm wearing one of these pairs that I just bought brand new and here's the other pair. So when I put the pair on that I'm wearing, I was surprised to see what I saw inside. Should we hold that to the end? I think we're gonna, we're gonna wait on the inside. So uh, we'll give, give you some suspense there. Okay, so, so things that I love about these shoes, like I said, lightweight, durable, flexible. Um, I'm not a big still toe fan, as I've mentioned in previous videos. Um, and these are just great all around shoes. Um, I do a lot of working on my feet. A lot of walking around, a lot of bending over, and, and honestly, that's where the still toe is, is just a hard thing because I'm bending over and having that flexibility in the toe uh, just doesn't work. But I found for the, the landscape business, construction work, if you don't need a still toe, hiking boots really are the way to go because they just hold up to the abuse. So, uh, with this new iteration, the Targi 3, they started offering a uh, leather or a composite leather um, kind of front here, and it looks really nice. It's a nice looking leather. Um, and I, I don't know if they've really got the, the new version down or at least when I bought this pair because I had some issues with this boot right here. As you can see here, we're missing some, some sole. I actually cut these off because these flaps just started, they, they just they came unglued. I, I like I said, I've had a half dozen of these, never had an issue with the soles coming off. And this one came off. And uh, that was unfortunate. These still have pretty good life. Usually I wear out the hills first, and these still have good tread life on the, the hill. Um, but once I cut those off, um, it just, that's, this is an uncomfortable shoe now. So these need to go in the garbage can. This other pair, like I said, I've been using it for painting. Still have great life in the soles. These will kind of turn into my junk pair. I'll still have them around. Um, but they have, like I said, good tread life. And uh, as far as the performance on the top, um, these ones are probably six months a year old and they start to, they do start to have some wear along the edges and, uh, and you know, these, these composite materials, the, the cloth or whatever, I don't even know what they're using nowadays, but it just doesn't seem to, to hold up as well as like a, my, like leather cowboy boots do. Um, but overall been really impressed with this and these ones have held together better. Some of my older ones that the toes would come undone and the, the soles would come apart right here when they were getting quite a bit older. It, you know, obviously lose waterproofing at that time as well. Um, but these ones, it seems like as they're, you know, doing these iterations, they're, they're finding improvements. Like I said, I think they had some issues um, with change in production on this, this model, but hopefully by the time we're here, they're again back to have figuring out those quality control issues and we're back to square one. Um, any other design changes that I can see? So they have, one, one thing, I didn't even realize they had this, but this little hook on the back, actually you can see it comes down and back across. And that, when you tie your shoelaces, it actually pulls on that and pulls the whole thing together. 
and when it's all hooked into this, so it's all secure. That's all worked really well for me. Kind of a cool little design um, element as well. Yeah, everything looks the same. And once, like I said, once I find a shoe, I just order the same thing. I order this again on Amazon. These are a $150 boot, so you know it's a little bit of an ouch on the pocketbook to order two pairs. Uh, you know, 300 bucks, 350 with tax or whatever. But I don't have to go to a store. I don't have to try on stuff. And it's just simpler that way. So we've got the Keen, Keen Dry waterproofing on this. And uh, what more can I say? Love this boot. Um, I have looked into Red Wing boots. I, I think that they offer a, a great customer service. I think that for my next boot, if these don't work for me, I think that's probably the direction I'm going to go. And just in the sense of I hate trying on boots. It's so hard to find something that's going to get past that break-in period. You have shoes that fit well at the break-in and then they don't last long. And then you have shoes that last a long time, but you have to break them in. And so it's hard to try them on in a store and know what's going to fit. I'm not a shoe expert, but uh, I do like the, you know, the times that I've been in a Red Wing. Um, it seems like it's always a customized service, a little bit higher price. But honestly, 150 bucks, we're already in the higher price range. So um, that's an option too for quality shoes. Uh, if you're in your shoes a lot, uh, this is my mode of transportation. This is uh, my feet being healthy and happy. It, it results in me being healthy and happy. Oh yeah, let's get inside. Okay, inside it says, every step makes an impact consciously created for a better planet. Keen anatomic fit. We've got arch support in there, and then deeper down in the toe, I can hardly read in there. Okay, deeper down in the toe it says, on a journey to enlighten our environmental footprint, walk the walk, and give back more than we take. Every step makes an impact. Like I said, that was something new inside. Very surprised by that. Uh, here's the inside of my old stinky shoe. It's just black. And uh, there was something inside and it's just worn off but I didn't say much. It was just uh, kind of design aesthetics, I believe, if I recall correctly. So uh, you could go check out my other videos on these Keen shoes to see what's inside maybe. But uh, I thought it was weird that the insides were like that. I don't know if the insides are made different. I don't know if they're more uh, environmentally friendly. They're using different materials, but uh, yeah. Okay, we'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. We've got another Keen work boot review. All right, I should say these are hiking boot review, but uh, this is, I think, I believe is our, I think, as I believe, is our third. Uh, <laughs>